what's up yes i know i've been busy life has been kicking my butt last time i heard from you i had a call but i'm over that but i did go out of town like twice i've been working full time i just finished my first module of school i just been booking weddings and like i said going into town and making sure my business stays afloat so pray for me you know but I did want to come back with a, a tutorial, a quick tutorial on how I make my clip-ins. I started my clip-in journey back in maybe 2013, 2014 with Bella Dream Girl. Their hair was amazing. It was all over Instagram. Everybody wore it. So that's the first purchase I made. I made it with no, you know, regrets or anything just because the hair has lasted. Like, I still use these clip-ins today. I've dyed it Friday, laid it to the side, like dyed it red, dyed it back black, dyed it brown. And it's still here today. The clip-ins I'm going to use in this video, I've ordered off of eBay. You get a good 30 maybe 20 for a dollar. Go ahead and wait them 30 days because it's worth it. Um, I will say, you know, the band does lose its pop after a while. But don't go to the hair store and get four for a dollar. Those clip-ins are the worst. These are a lot better. It's just, what can I say? I save so much money. I save so much time. Um, I get to wash my hair. This has really been a contributing factor to why my hair grows. It's because I don't have any you know, tension on my hair. I don't have to sit in my, anybody's chair for hours, braiding out my hair, sewing down my hair, having to come back, let them wash it. No. You take it out at night if you want to. Wrap your hair back up if you want to. You, you put some rods in it like I did last night it comes out curly um it's just you save so much money i probably purchase a bundle what every year um the hair that i'll be using today i've already cut it because i've already made the video this is ming lee's hair i always get peruvian i'm not a big fan of um brazilian because it gets too thick for me and i kind of like the silkiness of the hair so i'm using um Ming Lee is proving she always has a sale. Her hair, I have like a 24 inch in the Jasmine, I think it's Jasmine Silk or something, whatever it is. You'll see it on her site. I love it. And I have no complaints whatsoever. So I'm using a 20 inch from her. Needle and thread. Actual, actual sewing needle and thread because it won't get through here. So actual needle and thread. This is because I'm rushing. You're going to see me just press these together. It works quick. And uh, just some glue. Now I do fold my, my tracks over. So it is double. And that's what you want. So other than that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So you can get it like this. <laughs> Alright. Okay, if you know how to do a sewing, this would be super, super easy. You take the bundle, you measure the back of your head, starting from the back, cut it, you flip it over. You're gonna glue both sides. Then I'm gonna take my flat iron, and it's just an easier way. You can do a blow dryer if you don't have a flat iron, but it just works so easier. And then you're gonna just press that down. And that's just allowing the glue to dry a little bit quicker and faster. So you can just go ahead and finish out the process instead of waiting for the glue to dry and come back. So you take your sewing needle and your clip and you're going to place it at both ends. I don't like to put clippings in the middle unless the hair is super duper long. Like I'm edging from maybe my temple all the way to the other side of the temple. Then in that case you do need a longer length. I'm sorry, you do need um, more clips. But for right now, it's just not needed. This uh, clipping is going to the back of my head. It's only need two. I'm just sewing that in. And while you watch me sew that in, I'm just gonna tell you the benefits of it. It's just, you're saving so much money. Um, these bundles do last a long time because you're not putting wear and tear on the hair as much as you would. Just go ahead and purchase a really good brand just one bundle just to try it out you can't hurt um, it won't hurt just because you're you know you're probably spending maybe $90 on the length of your choice uh, when I first started out about a 16 inch was which is longer than my hair or the size that I had I think I was uh, shoulder length a little above shoulder length so it went great but everyone thought that was my hair so one bundle can let you one bundle can look great in your hair, so don't get discouraged, you know, don't say, oh, one bundle is not enough, because it is. 
Um, if this is your first time and you have some old bundles laying around, you just want to try it out, go ahead. But a fresh pack, you know, on a new brand, on a trusted brand, works really, really great. And what I'm doing, I'm not doing any fancy technique. I'm just really just getting down in there and sewing from one side of the clip to the other side, even in the middle. And as you can see, I pop the clip open just so you can see that it's you know placed correctly. Don't <laughs> when I first started out, I placed the clip in the inside, and I went to go put the clip in, and I was like, wait, what's wrong here? So make sure the clip is open and the combs are faced towards your thumb. And I'm just gonna apply that same one on there again. And just the fact that you can wash your hair. You can wash your hair with clip in. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I don't think that's something you want to do. Just go ahead and take them off. Put them back on after you finish your process. And this is the end. I'm just showing you that that's how they look. And next, I'm taking another piece. This is the one that's going to go a little bit longer. And I'm measuring it out from ear to ear. And then take that. Flip it over because I want to double my tracks. I'm cutting it. After I cut it, I'm going to take my glue, apply the glue, then take my flat iron and just seal off the glue. And then I'm going to sew them on just as I would, like I did in the first track. And then you do that until you have no more hair left. You're going to make a good four tr uh, double tracks. You can make them longer depending, you know, or you can make more depending on the size of your head. This is just how much I make. It's so simple and easy. And I will show you the finest, the finished look of them actually applied in my hair. Slipped in them, rotted them with orange rods. Super, super simple. You can do it. Um, the whole process probably take you maybe an hour to slow sew the clippings in. So, you know, it's better than sending somebody to line for four hours. <laughs> I'm not sure if you noticed, but I do have a glue gun. Don't use glue guns. That was something that I was using um, beforehand. It doesn't work. They don't stay. You'll see the glue just because it's clear. Just go ahead and take your time and sew it down do it the right way uh, I don't have anything else to add other than this process is super easy hope you guys really like the video um, if you need any questions just comment below and I'll help you out I wanted to come back and show you how my hair looks after it's curled as you remember I had the braids in the front with the high ponytail, I have curled the hair with um, my orange rods. I have the 20, and then I also have the 16 inch. The 16 inch was the uh, Bella Donna Dream Girl, or Bella Bella Dream Girl, and then the 20 was uh, Ming Lee's. So this is how your hair can look. So easy. If I want to, I could put up in a ponytail and rock it like so. So super cute. I gotta go to class. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you get so much out of my tutorials. Um, I'll try to make them quick and easy just so you can learn. Thank you.